Hey guys, so it's Thursday night, uh, I don't know what is it, 8.30, eh? Uh, cut a piece of stock here, got a bit of shim stock underneath, whatever you want to call it, you know, spoil board underneath, it's all clamped down, ready to go. I got my uh, pointed engraving bit, I'm going to call it, in there. It's not really an engraving bit, but I'm going to use it as such. And... I'm ready to go to uh, start cutting the Prusa frame, but it's getting late enough that I know that thing is going to take quite a long time to cut. You know, the engraving won't, and I've also got a drill step, and then the uh, routing step is probably what's going to take most of the time, but nonetheless, uh, I think it's getting late enough that I don't really want to be out here until 11 o'clock. So, starting tomorrow morning... Well, we got to share some sheep, but uh, after that's done, I'll run the program here. So uh, we'll see the Prusa frame uh, evolve here. Okay, so there's the first pass of the uh, Prusa frame. That's the engraving pass where I engraved the lettering on here. And for some reason, my computer was glitching away. It was really, really busy with nothing running on it. And that's why this lettering here looks like it's almost like got wood burned because it did because for whatever reason the dumb computer couldn't send the commands to here fast enough and so this thing would kind of just go as it took each discrete command. Um, anyways, doesn't matter. I did have a problem where it seemed to have lost steps. I also had it mark out just with the engraving bit where the drill points would be. Um, and when it got to here, they seemed to be off by a bit, and I'm not sure what happened. Um, I think that the x-axis lost some steps, and the only thing I could think of is that it was overheating. And when it overheats, it shuts off the controller. And, uh, so I turned the, the current down a bit, and we'll see if that helps. I also had to make a new one of these. This is my quarter inch to one eighth inch uh, converter and I ended up making a quarter inch to which it doesn't, it's not particularly pretty but it should work fine. Quarter inch to what is it, 330 seconds so that I can actually drill these holes. Um, if it messes up and it drills them in the wrong place then okay I'll start over again and this will be scrap stock but at that point, then I'm going to do a whole bunch of investigation as to what's going on, and uh, we'll see what's going on. But this frame at this point is committed, so I might as well just plunge ahead and we'll see what happens. So, this is the drilling step. It shouldn't take very long, maybe 10-15 minutes, but uh, uh, yeah, I guess I'll, I might set the camera up off to the side and we'll let you guys watch in uh, high speed. And just so you know that things are uh, running true here, I'll turn the bit on. And I don't see any wobble on it. There seems to be some fuzz on the end. But it looks okay to me. I turned down the router speed, but uh, nevertheless. So I'll leave it go and uh, let's do some drilling here. So in case you didn't hear me yelling at the end of the video there, uh, I'll uh, repeat what I just said with no noise. So what I saw happening was exactly the same thing that I saw happening the last time. Um, I actually put pen marks in every little drill hole 
you know, like uh, that was made with the engraving bit so that I could see where it went. And every hole went back into the over top of the, the engraving bit, except for these ones right here. They are off slightly, which eh, I don't know how to interpret that one. But more significantly, these holes went exactly into where they just were. And that's wrong. Like, it may not be really obvious between these holes here and those holes down there, but they should be in line. And these ones are probably about 400 thou that way. This one is much more obvious. This should be in line with the one at the other end. And it clearly is not, you know, like there's a big difference in the, uh, in the distance there. So, clearly some combination, there's some combination of problems going on here. Um, either the Gerbil software on here is puking, or the CNC files that I'm creating are causing it to puke which is the same effect because clearly something is going seriously wrong in here. And I say that because once again, it's trying to crack. You can see it's almost hitting that bolt. If it isn't actually hitting that bolt, it's almost hitting that bolt. And that's because I stopped it before it went to home. And that's the problem I had last time when I did the engraving is that once it got towards the end, it the coordinates were messed up and as it was trying to return to zero 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 which should have been I'll grab a pen here should have been this location right here it's already above that location where it is there so somehow the coordinate system got messed up I thought it was because it was losing steps coming down but I'm thinking less and less that that's the case because why would it put these holes in exactly the same place that it did before and these holes exactly in the same place before. I still can't explain those ones. I'm going to just ignore them and, and that because everything else over here went back where it was, which was wrong by almost a half an inch. That's a lot of steps to lose. And the weird part of it is, if we look at these holes, maybe that might be interesting to see. Maybe I'm stupid. Maybe this thing is sitting halfway sideways. That hole is at about an inch. You know, it's just under an inch. You know, like what, about 15 sixteenths? Yeah, they're gradually climbing up. This obviously this board isn't 100% that way, but it's not enough to explain, you know, like a discrepancy of that's one and a half inches to that, that hole and this is one and a quarter, there's clearly not that much misalignment there. You know, I could tell it in the writing here, and I'll just quickly measure that as well, because all that writing is all the same height. But, oh, I'm going to have to put you guys on. I'll get, bring you back in a sec. Yeah, I just had a quick check, and all that writing seems to be at the same distance from the top. It's certainly not out by, you know, as much as, you know, a quarter inch. I should actually characterize that exact inaccuracy here. This hole is at one and a quarter, well, it's actually one and three sixteenths, I guess it is. And this hole here is at one and a half. So it's off by more than a quarter of an inch. Um, no idea why. I'll go and I'll have a look at the program and see. But uh, it is a little bit frustrating, but you know, like I said, it seems like the coordinate system in the Gerbil is, uh, is getting messed up somehow. So, what do I do? Well, I can do some tests eliminating the CNC file. And what I can do is I can locate each of these holes where they're supposed to be in my drawing and, you know, reset my zero to my zero point, which, you know, like I've got my little pin point, you know, here somewhere that I probably nearly lost. I'll have to put a pen mark into it. Re-zero on that and then seek to each of the locations of where these holes are supposed to be and see if the machine actually moves to the right point when I'm just doing discrete commands. Because maybe there's some cumulative error in this GRBL software that's, that's messing it up. You know, like it's still, 
and like it's not a full release it's still 0.8 C of the release and maybe it's imperfect now the problem I have with saying that is that that Shea Poco machine which you know if you can't be bothered to make one of these out of MDF that would be a very very good alternative to a nice router machine um, that uses the GRBL software and I've not looked for complaints but I've not heard any complaints in any case guys I could probably ramble for quite a while today was a busy day I took today off it was Friday of course and uh, I was up at 20 after 6 and uh, the shearer came by and we weren't done until probably 3 o'clock shearing sheep so that was a bit of a workout I was wrangling sheep and all that so I'm a little bit bagged it's already 8 30 and I can't believe it's 8 30 now and uh, and this is all I've done I was really hoping that I was going to be done routing this frame up but I can't even drill the holes in the right place so I'm a little bit fried by that idea I gotta figure that one out Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, rating, commenting, subscribing, and thanks for your patience on my other projects. And I know some of you guys want to, you know, see there's trucks and Porsches and all that other rubbish there. And uh, I got to get back to them eventually. I do want to get back to the pickup truck. I want to paint the bed sides before the end of this year, before it gets too cold to paint them. And be considering the fact we're end of July, I think we've got a little bit of time. Anyways, later, guys.